It's just the matter of getting back into the rhythm, you know, it's, um, you're always so used to playing matches and tournaments, so you go from one place to another and once you stop, it's just the matter of getting that timing back um, and uh, a little bit of reaction, but really just building that base of, um, of kind of a consistent playing. So I think that's, that's the toughest part that takes always a longer time and, it, and it's a process. You, when you come back, you expect the, the result to be right there, just where, where you kind of finished. But sometimes it takes a little longer. When you come back from injury, how is your exercise routine, your time at the gym, how did, does it change at all? Does the fitness plan change in any way? Um, yeah. I mean, while I was rehabbing, it, it had to change a little bit. But uh, um, the whole routine, yeah, I, I got a new trainer, you know, not, not too long ago. So routine changed a little bit. Um, but... I mean, you still do. You still do squats. You still do weights. You still run. You still. It's kind of the same. It's just a matter of how um, how you put it. You know the program. Um, so that's it. I don't worry about that. I just do what what, what they tell me to do. I never cared about that stuff, so I'm the same way that the, if I was, you know, better ranked, um, I always take it one one match at a time, and I always know that it it doesn't matter what what how high you ranked or how well you played the tournament before, you still got to start from zero. So, um, you know, the game wise, it's I think it's it's. Uh, it's no matter how you feel every day. You're not going to play perfect every day. You cannot go through the tournament playing perfect. So, but the working process and the, I think the, the mind you put behind it, um, the work ethic, uh, I think that's what the key things for me right now. I don't know much about her. I think we practiced one time, but we never played against each other. So um, it's going to be... Um, it's going to be new, uh, but I, would, I always try to focus more on my game um, rather than my opponent. Of course, you take some things in consideration, and I'm sure my coach knows a little bit more stuff about her, uh, but i um, really just going to try to focus on, on my execution. How, how would you describe the mental challenge to dealing with the physical problems that you've had and anything you might have learned about yourself in dealing with those frustrations? Well, yeah, I learned the big thing that I need. I, I had to learn how to spread my toes. And it's not a joke. It's, it's for real. <laughs> because, you know, spending so much time in the shoes, you know, you some people cannot really spread their toes. And I couldn't do it on my left foot. So I had to learn that. And it took me about two weeks because it was a constant mental thing to try to. And it wouldn't move. For first week, it wouldn't move. But then it started moving. So when you see yourself able to do it now, I ran and I screamed in the hallway like it was like I don't know. I've never been so happy in my life. Victoria, if you were to win the U.S. Open this year, what would be your dream meal and what would be your dream? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Jesus, if I'm gonna think on the court, if I win, what kind of meal am I gonna get? <laughs> Serving for the match, for the tournament, Jesus, am I going to have chicken or fish? Hmm. Where should I go? Jamaica, Barbados. Hmm. I don't know. It's going to be a, you know, a tough decision. Tough decision. Because the more satisfying when you beat the top-ranked players to get into a championship, it's more important to have those top-ranked players in your way to get there than to beat them in the finals. I think it doesn't really matter. I think it's a matter for um, for a story. 
But for you personally, you don't care as long as you have a trophy and you worked your way through it. If you won the tournament, you don't really care who you, who you really faced. Of course, you always want to compete against the best. And whoever gets to the final at that place is the best. So that's how I really look at it. So it's no sweeter if you beat Maria or Serena versus some other players? Um, sweeter? <laughs> Sorry, when you said sweeter and you said Maria, I totally <laughs> thought about the candy. So <laughs> I was like, Jesus. <laughs> but uh, I think, you know, just playing against them is always... Um, uh, I consider them one of my biggest rivalries, so it's just, um, I don't think if it's sweet or not, but uh, we just had a lot of, there's more history in that, let's put it that way. Do you feel that you are at 100% right now? That you will be able to win the tournament? <laughs> if I had a magic ball, I would answer to you that, to that question. I believe, I believe I am. Um, you know, if you, I don't think if you ask uh, an athlete when they wake up in the morning and they feel 100% that when they will tell you that, I'll be very surprised. Any other questions? I'm just wondering how your injury is doing after pulling out of Cincinnati. There's no competition for any defending champs there. So how is he coming along? Do you feel ready as ready as you can be for the tournament? It feels a lot better. I think it was a very smart decision for me um, to not play there which was very unfortunate, but I feel better, you know, um, I don't need to tape my knee uh, that much anymore, and uh, I've been just working hard um, to get strength in there and just to be stable, so uh, during practice it doesn't bother me, so I'm ready to go. Yeah, I mean, I, it's, it's not really about coming back with what you had done before. I just love playing here. I think it's such an amazing event. And uh, uh, the energy that is here, you know, your Grand Slam in New York City, you, you cannot take it for granted no matter how many times you played or how well you've done here. I just, I just want to look at it at, at, um, from this perspective. I'm always excited. And, uh, you know, the preparation, I believe I've done the best I could. I've been managing every day to try to to get the best out of every day. So um, in that way, I think it was ideal, you know, so, but we'll see. Anything else for Victor in English? Go ahead and one last one in the back. So why you left to play here? What's the difference in New York than other things similar? I think it has their own, uh, New York has its own character. Um, you know, I love the fans here. They are very, uh, very honest, and I love that. You know, they like you. They love you, they'll cheer. If they don't like something, they'll boo. And, and that's great. That's what makes it very passionate and really exciting. Um, plus, you know, I've been dreaming to play here when I was a kid, to be on the big stages. So every time I come here, it feels special.